what is the difference between a dialect and a different language? So what is seemingly a simple question, right? What's a dialect? What's a language? You're like, well, a dialect is like some variety of a language and then another language is another language. But it's not quite that simple because if we really look at it, there are many dialects of languages that are almost so different from the language that they are another language. There are many that are very similar. There are also other languages that are very similar to the language that are, <laughs> you know, like even mutually intelligible, like for example, Spanish and Portuguese. You can, I can speak Spanish and understand someone in Portuguese and be understood by a Portuguese speaker. But of course there are languages where that is not the case. And then there are the different dialects of the language, which like with Spanish, for example, you go to, to Spain and you have those uh, different, those are actually different languages, but um, there are also many dialects within each of those different languages, right? So you have Castilian, you have the primary Spanish, right? Like the standard Spanish. And then you have all of the other versions of Spanish. See, this is where it gets a little tricky because we have different languages, right? But kind of, it's all really Spanish. Like it is all encapsulated in Spanish, although they are considered different languages in different parts of the country. And it's similar with like Italian. They have many, many, many dialects just within Italy all over and some of them are mutually intelligible. Some of them are more so than others and some of them are less so than others. So that same thing exists within Italian, within Spanish, within English, within all languages. So what is the distinction? Like where do we draw the line between a dialect and a language? Well, a dialect is rooted in a language more so than another language. You know, you have Spanish and Portuguese, although they're similar, they are separate languages. They have entire countries that speak those languages for Portuguese. You know, they have Portugal, they have Brazil, entire populations. And then of course there is the Portuguese, Brazil, the Brazilian Portuguese and the Portugal and Portuguese and and then Spanish even more diverse right all Latin America all of the different Spanish speaking countries and then Spain of course and then all of the other countries where Spanish is spoken so there's really not a very clear distinction between these two and feel free to like let me have it if you have if you have if you have one share it through write it down in the comments I'd love to hear it but my thoughts are that it is a matter of discretion on whenever this was decided, when each language evolved as new varieties of that language evolve, it is decided by the majority, by the, you know, the person in charge, by the government, by whoever at that time, it's different in every situation. It's not like, oh, if it meets this criteria, it's a dialect. If it meets this criteria, it's a language. Sure, some of that criteria will exist in you know, different places, but it is not going to be the same all the way around the world. And it is going to be up to essentially the majority of the people who speak that language to decide, okay, are we a dialect? Are we a language? And ultimately, it really doesn't matter too much whether it's a dialect or a language. Because, sure, there's, you know, some areas where it might matter, like if you're, you know, on a list and you need to check what is my language, then you might, you know, you need to choose something there. But ultimately, it really doesn't matter from the point of, like, are you able to communicate? You know, you, you have a writing system, and this is a whole other, whole other ballgame here. Do you have a writing system, right? Not all languages have writing systems. And do you have, you know, you have spoken, like language is first spoken and then written. 
and so those are factors and really what matters is how that language is used and if it fulfills its purpose which <laughs> and again that is up for interpretation does it fulfill its purpose or not and again these are all things that like there is no single answer to it is very abstract and you may have an answer to some of these that you feel like this is how I operate. Cool. <laughs> I'd love to hear that. But um, everyone has their own perspective on this. Uh, this is my perspective on it. And this is based on my experience with languages, my studies, my own thoughts, whatever kind of crazy things come out of this head over here. <laughs> and that is what I think about dialects and languages and accents perhaps we'll save this one for another video maybe the next the next video right after this one accents but um yeah so between dialects and languages ultimately as long as you know what you're studying and you know how it how it's classified or how you want to classify it how you can navigate your way through that language and that dialect and how you use it what its purpose is how it serves you how it serves the other speakers of the language that's essentially what matters for most people <laughs> who are using languages. And it's just interesting to look at how are um, dialects used and languages used, how are they classified, and to go into it from a bit of a linguistic perspective. But yeah, let's, well, let's go ahead and wrap it up there. Those are my thoughts on uh, dialects and languages and how I see them and how they are important, how they affect us, what we need them for, what is less, what we don't need to know as much about, what we do need to know about. Those are my thoughts on dialects and languages and how they work and what they are. All right, I'll see you guys back here later. Bye guys.